Bacteriophages are viruses that specifically infect bacteria. This means they attach to the bacterial cell wall, inject their genetic material, replicate within the host, and eventually cause the bacterial cell to burst and die. At the same time, this process releases new phages, which go on to infect other bacterial cells. Because phages destroy bacteria, an important question arises, can bacteriophages replace antibiotics? The answer is partially. Bacteriophages have a significant advantage. Unlike antibiotics, which can target a broad range of bacteria, bacteriophages are highly specific, typically targeting only one species or strain of bacteria. This specificity can reduce the impact on beneficial bacteria and minimize side effects. Additionally, bacteriophages can be used in cases where bacteria are resistant to antibiotics. Their ability to target and kill specific bacteria makes them a promising alternative or supplement to antibiotics. Another crucial question is how safe bacteriophages are for humans. Bacteriophages are generally considered safe because they specifically target bacteria and do not infect human cells. Now, in real practice, for which diseases are bacteriophages effective? Today, bacteriophages are used as alternatives to antibiotics, particularly in cases of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. For example, they are widely used against methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. These cases often involve wounds that have not responded to conventional treatments. Another common scenario for phage therapy is chronic and recurrent urinary tract infections, especially those caused by Escherichia coli and Klebsiella pneumoniae. In many cases, significant improvement is seen where antibiotic therapy has failed, and even complete resolution of the infection is often achieved. Phage therapy is also used for respiratory infections, such as pneumonia caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, particularly in cystic fibrosis patients and those with ventilator-associated pneumonia. In such cases, phage therapy can be life-saving when conventional antibiotics have been ineffective. In cases of diabetic foot infections, where complications are severe and multidrug-resistant bacteria are present, phage therapy has proven effective. It can even prevent amputations in some cases. Another important question is whether bacteriophages occur naturally or are made in laboratories. Bacteriophages are actually abundant in nature, particularly in environments where bacteria are diverse, such as in soil and water. Of course, they are isolated from natural sources in the laboratory and grouped according to their potency and effectiveness towards different bacteria. Sometimes, phages can be modified in the laboratory to improve their selectivity towards specific bacteria, but mainly they are used in their natural form. To treat with phages, first, we need to identify which bacteria cause the infection. This is done via bacterial culture growth or by identifying its genetic sequence. Then, we compare phages from a library that are effective against this bacterial strain. After this, it should be tested against the patient's bacteria in laboratory settings to ensure effectiveness. Once confirmed, bacteriophages can be used to treat medical conditions. The main problem with phages is that they must be tailored to the specific bacterial strain causing the infection, unlike broad-spectrum antibiotics. Phage therapy is used as a last resort when antibiotic treatment fails. Phage therapy can be used for wound infections, burns, and diabetic ulcers as topical applications, such as creams, gels, and dressings. Phages can also be administered orally for gastrointestinal infections, with phage preparations used as capsules or liquid suspensions. Respiratory infections may be treated with phages via inhalation, using nebulizers or aerosols to directly target the lungs. For systemic infections, phages can be administered intravenously, especially in cases of sepsis or bloodstream infections. Sometimes, local injections are also used for bone infections, such as osteomyelitis, or joint infections. So, what is the main problem? If phages are so effective, why are they not widely used? Phage therapy requires careful matching of phages to the specific bacterial strain causing the infection. This creates challenges in terms of standardization, regulatory approval, and ensuring consistent effectiveness. Another problem is that while bacteriophages are generally safe for humans, the immune system may recognize them as foreign invaders, potentially neutralizing them before they can act against the bacteria. Additionally, just as bacteria can develop resistance to antibiotics, 
they can also develop resistance to specific phages. There is no widely accepted protocol approved by the FDA, but in some countries like Georgia, Poland, and Russia, phages are more actively used. Georgia is a global leader in phage therapy, with the Eliava Institute being one of the most renowned centers for this innovative treatment. The institute has been at the forefront of phage research and application for over 100 years. They are actively used to treat gastrointestinal diseases like diarrhea, colitis, and infections caused by salmonella, shigella, and E. coli, skin infections like impetigo, cellulitis, and wound infections, and respiratory infections like pneumonia and bronchitis. They are also used for chronic infections, such as chronic urinary tract infections, chronic sinusitis, and prostatitis.